Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm going to teach you how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today my subject will be winter and I'm going to put a barn, uh, maybe a river, something like that, and also mountains. And please don't forget to subscribe, yeah, be subscribe it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorials. Okay, you can see all the materials needed on the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And I think I will do uh, the underpainting first. Yeah, maybe I do not need to put the uh, sketching because uh, this will just be uh, easy, not complicated tutorial. So I have here. Uh, the blue and the red to make some purple um, I want more red and then white to make it not so much dark so here I will put my horizon here so I think my canvas is a little rough everyone yeah so I should have put uh, one one layer of gesso but I think um, it will be uh, takes a lot of time so just you just have to spray it with uh, water so yeah you can you can do it like that and it will become, it will become smooth like this So this will be my horizon. There. I'm gonna put a mountain here. It will be a snowy mountain one. I want to paint again a snowy mountain today. So uh, I like to paint a thick mountain. You can try to spray it with water also. Uh, careful not to put too much everyone because uh, uh, it will spread. Maybe you can just pay, uh, make the uh, paint thicker, like this. Yeah, I just want to paint a dark mountain background. And then I'm going to put a little white for a little farther mountain. I'm going to use uh, my other flat brush, this one. Okay, so I'm going to put now my sky, just blue and the white. You can add more white everyone or blue you can add more paints to this So it's a little different process now because we do the mountain first, but uh, I just want to make it a little dry first so that I can I can move a little more faster down. You 
can add more light. Actually, this is a different canvas. Everyone is a cotton canvas. So I think you can feel the smoothness of this one. I can feel that it's very, very smooth because it's a uh, made of cotton. Yeah, I just want to let it dry uh, that part. But this part, I'll try to touch. And then this one, a little uh, red and uh, purple. So, uh, I have here not so much light, but this is the horizon uh, because I'm gonna put here the uh, it will be a snow uh, field, something like that. Okay, and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more white. Okay, so I want more. So the same color, everyone, dark. I will fill this part. And I think I will make the horizon a little lower. So that I can also blend here, there. So you can just blend it good, something like that. Okay, and then now it's time to use a smaller brush because I think I already finished uh, adding or adding everything there. Okay. I will just try to use a smaller brush, but this one I'm gonna mix for a lighter color. That's too much light. Just put a little, I uh, will change a little here.
okay so here again so I'm gonna make the mountain better so, uh, a lot of details there do not make it so uh, so so plain everyone add a lot of tiny details there like that So, I think uh, I can just let it dry first for just a little time. Uh, I'll just focus first on the on the on the sky. Okay, so we need to clean our brushes. So I have white, and I'm gonna put my light on the right side. So here, I'll try to put some, not uh, so much, a lot of, uh, a lot of, what do you call this? Uh, a lot of uh, clouds, everyone. Just a simple clouds with white thing and and just do like that you can just press it like that and then you can create those clouds beautiful clouds yeah i don't need to create a complicated clouds there just a simple clouds and it will be good Okay, there, that's a beautiful looking clouds. Okay, so yeah, maybe I will try not to focus on every part because uh, still wet, but yeah, maybe it's good for uh, doing some wet on wet. And I will try to create the snow. So first, uh, I'm going to make this uh, something like a rocky mountain, but I'm going to put the snow here. Okay, I'm gonna make this mountain looking like sharp, sharp mountain. And I'll be using a flat brush, small flat brush, number two. So I have here the raw umber and the white. There. Make sure that it's bright. Okay. A little, a little brownish, everyone. There. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna try to put some snow, just uh, pure white on the other side, on the right side, because my, my light is coming from the right side so it's all, always be here so first I'm gonna use this pure white
Control like that. There, so we can see now some light. So I'll put all, all of it to the uh, right side. Just do it a little slowly, everyone. Uh, just uh, it is like a, just like that you are sculpting or you're making a sculpture, and you are uh, carefully making the details there. there okay so you can see now the lights or the snow there okay and then i will try to use this light blue color here with a little white to make it lighter yeah i like that maybe a little darker So this is also a snow everyone but on the other side. Okay, so slowly you can create those uh, snow on the other side. Okay, so that's why we're using the light blue, everyone, because uh, doesn't hit, uh, this part doesn't uh, didn't hit by the light the, or the direct sunlight. So in the white uh, doesn't uh, directly hit by the light. It will always look like a lighter blue or something like purple color so it's normal it's normal to be like this there to here also I'll just do it uh, slowly so that I can create a beautiful mountain from this one. And you can spread it a little, everyone. And here, I think I will try to spread it until here. There. So you can see now uh, this part is really heat. Uh, you can see that it has been heat by the very beautiful sunlight. And it looks good. It looks even pretty realistic. Okay, so I'll try not to put some uh, details here. Some uh, parts of the mountain or the details of the mountain. So I will put the, the snow, of course. I'll put the snow first. And then, okay, wait, uh, yeah.
okay i think that will be uh, perfectly good okay so i will try to put details here whatever i'm gonna plan and then i think i will try to put a cliff or something that will make it a beautiful uh beautiful mountain so i have the the, the red and the i know uh the raw umber and the white so yeah so here i'm planning to put a cliff here so it should be much more lighter So uh, that's good everyone that it's already dried. It's dry. Add a little white. So the light is coming from the right side. So all the highlights will be on the right side. Okay, so it's looking brown now. You can just blend a little there so that we can also see some darks dark sides but uh, it's not so much dark because I can see a tinier details there there so it's too good And then I will mix now for a purple, so red and the blue. I think I will try to put more red. Yeah, it should be reddish purple, everyone. And then white. Now the darker part, you can put this uh, reddish purple. I'll put uh, some pine trees here, bigger pine trees, so it's not so important this part. There. And you can blend it down because uh, this part will be dark. Uh, that means that it doesn't hit by the lights here. So just let it char let it let it uh look like dark or something like that. Yeah, that's good. And now I'm going to start putting some snow. Yeah, but uh yeah maybe I'll just put more um, some cliff here. Maybe here. there 
there. Okay, and now I'm gonna put the snow. First everyone, I'll just use the pure white. Because I'm gonna put the, the highlights first. So here on the top. Look at my stroke everyone, just follow this. Okay, so here is a I'm gonna put more lights here. We need to to think for the pattern everyone before we're gonna put anything there, so it's very important. Some more lights here. Okay, now I will put now the uh, lighter blue color. This one will be on the other side. This is the dark side of the snows. Also here, try to put there. Okay, you need to do it slowly everyone because uh, we, we need to think where we're gonna put all those uh, details something like that so here I was to put more lights uh, snow There, okay. That looks pretty good. 
Yeah, the small things we want. I really like to uh, see it because uh, the slides there, it's uh, really playing and it looks good. It looks very uh, realistic uh, in my eyes. Okay. Okay, so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna need to put more. Especially the snow, everyone. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that looks good everyone. You can see a beautiful snow there. Okay, I'll try to put more white. This will intensify some parts. Maybe more here. Okay, there you go, yeah, looks good everyone, I like those lights, it looks pretty realistic, and then uh, I'm going to go back to this uh, uh, reddish purple color for some highlights on the uh, rocky part. There, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna lighten this part so that uh, it will become more like a, a cliff.
using the light through a more ano the light uh, purple there and then the light purple here I know the light uh, raw umber I'm gonna lighten some more on the cliff So here so it's a rocky cliff everyone but uh, we need to make it lighter also here As everyone can see uh, where the light will hit so I will just uh, make sure that the light will just hit on this part and I'm, I'm gonna make this part darken so I will not put everything there because uh, yeah I'll just do something like that yeah it's my plan okay yeah that looks pretty good I like those lights there the snow I really like those mountains it looks pretty good it looks real natural for me I will put now I think uh, I will try to sketch the barn yeah so I'm planning to put it here on the center yeah maybe here and yeah maybe I will move a little bit uh, this horizon here and I will put some some pine trees on the far something like that Okay, so that's my plan. I want to make this uh, misty, everyone. So I think it's very, very good to make it uh, looking misty, and then we're gonna put the uh, yeah. Because I think it's just too uh, sort of dark for me. And since it's snowing, it should be misty. Especially uh, this scene will be like uh, morning, so I need to make it misty. So here I have the blue and the red again purple and then white a little bit darker yeah I can uh, you can make it misty everyone a little like that like uh, low line clouds there just spread the colors more this part a little blended there so it's really looking like a misty uh, mountains or something like that so just a little thin of light purple and then you can create those things those uh, uh, effect okay now I'm going to 
uh, put something here I'm thinking to put yeah I will put I will put the house here what's in this I'm gonna use the smaller brush first It will be here, this part. Just the wrong bar. I'll try the wrong bar. Okay, forgot I should have put yeah that will be fine. Wait, I'm thinking everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I will uh Okay, yeah. I'll do something like this. design okay something like that and um, I should put the also the the chimney yeah that will be my plan and first I need to put the background uh, the, the, the pine trees or yeah the mountains there but I want to make it dark everyone I don't want to uh, do like that it's very bright okay and I will try to use this uh, again the blue and the red and then white Okay. I'm gonna put the horizon here. Okay. There. So this one, I'm gonna put some pine trees. So this is a forest everyone. No, I think it's uh, too light. I'm gonna make it. Uh, darker. Yeah, that's it. You can do like that to create those pine trees. There. There. Okay. We have now some pine trees on the background and then also here yeah I'm planning to put a bigger pine tree so I'll just 
use red and the purple red and the blue to make some purple so it should be on this part everyone And just put some lines first there I think I don't like that. There. Also here. So just use this flat brush everyone. And then use the tip first and then do it slowly into the bottom. Yeah, so that you can create the pine tree. The pine tree, everyone, not palm tree. There. And also here. And then here everyone in the back, I will make it uh, dark. And also here. That is look like a lot of trees on the back part. There. Not just there, one, but also here on the other side. Here, on the back of these uh, trees. Now maybe I will also need to use a little darker. On the back of this house, and I'm gonna try to put some pine trees also. and then a little lighter we'll mix now a little lighter everyone because I'm gonna put it here the background but uh, this part will be a little misty okay there you go and in here everyone I will try to put something also that look like there's still a forest on this misty background and also here just uh, drag it down something like that okay yeah. There. Okay, and I will. Yeah, I think that will be good. Uh, it looks good, everyone. I really like the lights on the on the mountain there. And I think I will try to put some. 
uh, river here or maybe you know, on the back part I will try to put the river so yeah here So I think the snow, everyone, uh, it's like uh, it's almost melting something. There. Okay, so this is a river here. So I, uh, I like now the result everyone and I'm, I'm going to mix for another purple, blue on the right. Yeah. Also here. Okay. So I'm going I'm going to start now adding uh, the colors of this uh, of this house so I'm very excited okay so I'm going to add now the details I'm be I'm using now this uh, number two nylon flat brush it's a, it's a small flat brush it's the smallest flat brush I have I have here the white I will put the highlights first because I'm always excited with the highlights this will be the roof So liberal you can use a smaller brush now. Okay, I think it's hard to use this brush. I'm gonna use now my uh, liner brush or a round brush zero. Zero round brush. the snow on the top of the house everyone there and I will color the house uh, something like an orange yeah red and the yellow yeah I'm using now my yellow for the first time this painting
there you can use uh, something like uh, light brown lighter brown everyone something you can you, you can put uh, a little raw umber in here also okay yeah that's it you can see now uh, the light heating on this uh, part and then the other side I also put uh, maybe just so umber I'll just make it a brown house everyone maybe it has no paint something So here. try to use uh, a little bigger brush uh, this one the number two nylon flat brush and I will use this white here with a little blue for the top of the snow or the the darker side of the snow yeah now some darks everyone because this is just too light okay so again I'm gonna use the round brush I have here the raw umber maybe a little blue and the red to add some dark there to here So here everyone, we can put some casted shadows. Uh, 
that's it. Okay, so the one hour now and I'm almost done. I think this is a good painting. So I'm gonna make it a little darker here for the shades of the other part. There. To make it look like a, a wooden house something. Then before I forget, I should put some doors and windows. So I will put a door here and some window on the other side. So I'm gonna mix for darker colors, red and the blue. So purple everyone is my black, dark purple. So I'm gonna put a window, a door here. Another one. And on the top. I can also put here. There. Okay. At least you can see some some doors. Okay, this is good. And then I'm gonna make this uh, door, the other one, uh, like red. some white so this is a snowy everyone so expect that there will be a lot of snow here it's falling something like that also like that on the doors also you can put some snow there yeah it looks so good I like the contrast of the house everyone it looks uh, bright there I really like it okay yeah I don't know what to put uh, no, before I forget everyone I should put some chimney <laughs> of course you cannot survive in the snow without chimney So this is umber. Okay. Chimney on the other side. 
Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm going to put some lights, everyone. Okay. Yeah, it looks so good, everyone. I like the. Yeah. I don't know if uh, if the color of the house is good, but uh, you can you can also change that if you want. Okay, I'm going to put now some snow. Uh, I mean, I mean the highlights of the snow, everyone. I'm gonna put, use the pure white here. Of course, this, uh, there are some snow also here. I hope that you can see, yeah. Okay, I think you can. There. These are some small lights, everyone, coming from the sun. So I don't want to put a lot of lights there. Yeah, so you can see now the lights slowly. And I like I like this very good highlights everyone. It makes everything uh, alive. Okay, so yeah, I'm also need to put some highlights on this uh, tree on the back. First, I need to put some greens. Yellow and the red. This is brush, everyone. At least you can see a little light here. Uh, heating by the uh, from the sun, heat by the sun here. So it's not so much yeah, like that. Okay. And you can also put some some smoke here just a little uh, just try to use the dry brush 
Okay, just a little like that. I don't want to ruin everything here on top. And I will also try to put some greenish. Just a little greenish, everyone, because uh, I will also need to put something snow here, snow there, some white, just a little, maybe here also. So not so much of one, I will, I will not put so much, but maybe here I will try to put some uh, shadows or casted shadows on the bottom part. some snow also here but just a little using some white snow highlights there are lights there I don't want to put a lot of lights I don't want to ruin because I want uh, everything want to be look uh, smooth or something like that I really, I really like the, the house everyone but I don't know if the color is good <laughs> it looks so yellow I don't know maybe I don't know if you can see like that house there uh, maybe it's just uh, made of fresh wood something like that uh, uh, my idea here is that uh, I'm painting a, a wooden house or something like that. So that's why I'm making it brown, but I think it's too much orange or brown something. Like I'll just try to change later on. I don't know, maybe I'm doing something not good there. Okay, so I'm going to put the, the reflections. I will be using this uh, number 8. The medium size flat brush number eight. Make sure that you clean your brush. Okay. 
So first, I will use this a little darker uh, a little darker purple and I'm gonna put the reflection from here. Just drag it down everyone. Uh, the idea of re reflection is that you can just, just have to copy everything from the top and put it down. Something like that. There. And also here. I'm going to put some white. And also the reflection here. Just drop it down. Yeah, make it a little more reddish. Just copy the color, everyone, what you see there. And also here. Uh, you can make it darker, everyone. Uh, maybe just the same color with the color that you put it there. There. Okay. Yeah. I'll show maybe here also. Some brownish. But I uh, also need to put. But uh, I'll change this, uh, everyone. Make it much more like um, a little purple, or I will try to put a little uh, bluish color. So, amber and a little blue, and then white. There. I don't know if it's good or not. Also here. A little darker. There. There. And also, those windows there, I should make it dark. Just make it dark, everyone, because uh, I want it to look much dark there to create much contrast on the light. Yeah, I think that's much better now compared to uh, before. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm going to put now the reflections. Okay, first I'm gonna put the reflection on the on the here. it a little thicker
let's put the reflections as more yellowish and red and then white there more yellow there okay and also here should be uh, the same one on the top just drag it down something like that there okay and then draw umber I have here and then a little bluish and also here see you can see it's now a little brownish there and then those whites everyone uh, you can do you can mix it with the other with a little uh, so that it a uh, little purple so that it will become not so light sorry also here yeah. just drag also uh, down out of the top out of down I mean I need a little bluish here or purple. That's it. And also red everyone for this part here. That's it. Yeah, it looks good now. And some darker rumber. Yeah, just like that. Okay. I think that looks good now, everyone. You can see that uh, it looks uh, really uh, reflections. And... It looks good for me and I like the result. Yeah, it's pretty good. And I'm going to put one tree here on the right side. It's a tree without uh, leaves, something like that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to retouch now. And I think I'm almost done. I'll just try to retouch and it's been one hour and 31 minutes. And so far, it looks pretty good. The entire view looks good. It's just simple, but uh, I like it. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to put the house here. First, I'm going to use again this brush. And then I have here the raw umber. I think I will put some blue under it also. Yeah, to make it dark and solid. Yeah, I'll try to put it here. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to put some. I'm going to use the smaller brush.
okay so i can put more branches so i'm using the zero brush everyone so that uh, we can create or we can create the smaller branches there and now i will try to put the lights there it's very very exciting just use the white There, and put more. Okay, and the bottom part, everyone, I'm gonna try to put some snow. Just uh, some light blue. There. Okay, I will not hit any light there. Okay, now I'm going to put some, some floating also on the but wait, I'm going to use this light, light blue here. I'm gonna retouch some parts of the river. So using this light, a purple everyone, I'm going to retouch here, putting some details on the darker side. Okay, now I'll try to put uh, some something like a floating in the, the river. Okay, also here. Maybe a little lighter, some disturbance in the water. Also here. Also something also here. To make the water run a lot of, to make the water realistic. There, okay. That's it. Yeah, so I think that will be all everyone. It will just be very, very simple. Uh, procedures on how to paint this uh, landscape snowy landscape so everything is just blue you can just see a little amount of yellow red browns and everything looks blue and purple and so far everyone everything looks great i like the result it looks good the light just looks perfectly 
uh, good and everything is nice I really like uh, the simplicity of this painting everyone and it's just like that I think you uh, get something out of this you learn and my only advice is uh, to keep on practicing keep on painting I think I'm very com content with the result everyone and um, yeah maybe I'll just do it something like this and you can paint also I advise you to, to don't be afraid and try to paint okay everyone so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this and my only advice is to keep on practicing keep on painting the more you do it the more you know how to use your brush the more you will know how to mix the colors that's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn how to, learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want so please hit like and some comments subscribe for more videos in the future okay once again thank you have a nice day and God bless you all all the glory and honor and praise always belongs to the Lord.